Shut up and sit down. Ho, ho, ho! Jingle, 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 jingle. It is. <laughs> I almost did a legit spit take. No jiggle, jiggle, jiggles. No. <laughs> we love the jingles here at Third Shift, especially on episode 328. It is Christmas time. It's the jingle, 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 or the jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Whatever kind of time you need it to be, that's the time it is here on Third Shift. It's a little tiny fun episode to wish everybody out there some Merry Christmases and all that good stuff because you know what everyone's supposed to be going on vacation everyone's supposed to be going to their families and friends for the holidays and we want to sort of do the same with the limited time we have because of our professions we don't get the big two three week vacations a lot of these folks do but we're gonna make the best of what we do get aren't we Matt you know I'm getting mad because <laughs> just last night I was I was going through Twitter and High on Life was trending and I went ooh you know in the trending for you thing and I, I clicked on it and someone was like oh, I'm going to play High on Life in a little bit and I went sweet and I put up that person's Twitch and I was like all right wait for him to start eventually got back to it the person went oh yeah you know I got like. 10 days off of work coming up because of the holidays and stuff. So, you know, I figure I'll get a lot of gaming in, got to get a lot of streaming in. And I started throwing stuff around on my desk and I was so mad. 10 days. I got, I got no days. I got one day off. It went one day that I had to scrape, scrape my last seven and a half hours out for. Come on now. The, the best I get is two hours from the company. Gee, I know, first. you know. I'm turning into Scrooge, Scrooge over here. It's supposed I, to happen to have a happy thankful holiday for what times. I've got. Yar, yar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, it is that time. It's Christmas time. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, it's just a holiday time. You know, just enjoy it for what it is. And, of course, we're going to talk about that a little bit. But before we do, hey, man, how's the week been? It's been a short week, I can tell you that. But we did something i'm sure it has been a short week but i've done two things in the interim and first of all was going to the wharton center to see pretty woman the musical which was kind of interesting because i mean i remember that movie from the 90s i remember like my stepsister liked to watch that movie so i saw it like a whole bunch of times but i don't have like a connection to it i remember the plot and stuff and i was watching it was pretty good the show itself was good performances were good i like the songs all the stuff they did it was really nice the staging was pretty cool it was fun but I can't help but remember that there were a bunch of tech issues for some reason during the performance. Like normally, you know, people walk on stage and boom, you can hear them because their mic is live. And like five or six times throughout the show, people would show up and I would hear them like physically on the stage, but they wouldn't come through the mic until their second line. And it was very bizarre. And at one point during one of the songs, like the, the guy who plays Richard Gere's character had to like look to the back and go like – this and point at his microphone before it came on. I was like, this has never happened before here. What a what a shocking experience. But cast was great. Music was good. So it was just very weird. I had the discussion with mom during intermission. I'm like, so I, I would assume they don't bring their own tech person. It's got to be the in-house tech person. But this is like the fourth or fifth show they've done. What's, what's going on? I can tell you what happened. All right, Johnny, the actual tech, he was coming in that day. Catabus slammed into the car. Boom, hospital, coma, out. All right, little Susie was an intern. She's going to MSU right now, you know, and interning when doing this with the tech guys. She comes in, doing her best, doing her best, but it isn't enough. And she's back there panicking. She's having a heart attack. She falls over, collapses, boom, out. Out cold, heart attack at 19. It, it, unheard of. All of a sudden, you've got Sam, one of the big coordinators back there. He's taking over. He don't know this. He's used to just coordinating. That's what he does. He don't know how to run this stuff. Doing his best. And then, you know, just issues, issues, you know? And that's what I was thinking of. It's like maybe the usual tech person did get hit by a bus. Uh -huh. and now it's like Grandpa Joe. Like, oh, at this scene, uh, Dave comes on stage and I put his microphone on. Oh, and as he reaches his slow old man finger over... Dave's on stage saying the word, and then click, I pushed a button. Uh, Dave's, Dave did it. Yeah, here we go. But Act 2, there were no problems. So whatever it was, maybe they swapped a dude out. Who knows? Maybe I mean, maybe there was literally a technical glitch somewhere in the switches and the swatches. I don't know, but Act 2 made up for it. It was a lot of fun. Great show. It feels like it's been forever since I've seen like a full 
Broadway style show. Cause when the cast was up there, you know, do the big lineup and introduce each other and then stand and hold hands about. I was like, man, this feels right. It feels like it's been just a dog's age since I've been to see this. So that was a ton of fun. The only other thing I've done this week at all, other than go to work, which we don't talk about here on the show is play high on life. I played it. I beat it. I've gotten so many achievements and just what a fantastic game that has been. I'm laughing my ass off so many times. Like I said, when I talked about it on the release last week, humor subjective. If you're not into this kind of humor, you're probably not going to like this game. Apparently I am. Like I said before, all the jokes don't land, but the ones that do have me like literally crying laughing in that other room, sitting on my couch. And that's something that not a lot of games do. Almost no games do. They make me laugh that hard. So this has just been a great experience, a ton of fun. The gameplay is super solid. Like, it's not anything mind-blowing. But when you get the different abilities and the different upgrades for your different Gatlians, it's just a ton of fun. So I had a ton of fun with it. I'm going back in to try an achievement hunt and 100% complete it just because I love being in that world so much and just finding all the things. And whew, maybe I'll talk about it more on a later episode. But what about you, Eric? What have you been doing this week? Well, staying right on that, I so happened to not be able to resist and picked up the old high on life myself. And you're right. You know, and it's been discussed on podcasts before here, but I will say it again. I'll reiterate that humor is subjective. And if you like this type of humor, got to play it. What a fun time. If you don't, this game you're not going to play. Just walk away. Just go away. It's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to critique it. You don't have to talk about it. If you don't like the humor, it's just not in it. But I do enjoy it. And it's just like you said, not every joke hits, but with this, I don't think it's, it's not, you're not supposed to laugh at everything. It's just, it's like an attitude. It's like a mentality. And then when it does hit though, bam, it gets you. And you never know when it's going to get you. That's the best part. And, and I think part of it too, for me, not to step on it or anything, but mm-hmm. like the commercials on the TV and stuff, there's so many different, like, some of these I, I really like. Some of them don't do anything for me, but there's such a broad range of humor just in those. So if you come in and the TV's on and you're talking with Gene on the couch and you overhear this craziness, it's just – it's going to pop you. Or you're walking through Blim City right past the area where all the TVs are. Just random crap will catch your eye and catch your funny bone and just tickle it and just go, hee, hee, hee. You're not even doing anything. You're on the way to the pawn shop. But this catches your ear, and you go over and you look at it and go, this is this is nuts, and I love it. Exactly. And not only that, just the NPCs. Mm-hmm. Walking by, sometimes they'll just be saying something. You're just like, what the frick did they just say? And you're like, there's no way they just said what I thought they just said. No way. And they did. And it was fantastic. It was great. It was something you would never hear in any normal video game whatsoever, even remotely close to. Just... So far, I'm really, I'm pretty early on. I'm only going after like the second boss. Pretty early on, but can't wait. I just can't wait. I'm so excited to keep getting into the next spot, to the next spot. And then on top of that, I'm like, ooh, is there side missions this game? I hope there's side missions because I'd love to see what they do with side missions. I haven't seen any yet, but I'm sure there's going to be some. I have had like side interactions with characters, like the uh, the two gatekeepers of the slums. Mm-hmm fantastic little step there you know didn't expect it it was right there had a great time with it you know doing what i did choosing the choices i chose and the way it went now i want to see what the other side would have said or did you know what i mean and i don't get to but if i do it in another playthrough i might get to so just a lot of stuff going on in this game with a lot of humor that you can get you can miss because like you said screens are always throwing random things up there there's different movies ads shows going on when you're talking to the other main peeps ah <sighs> What a good game. It's just so much fun. Can't wait to get into it. I'm Right now I'm playing that. And, of course, my other game is Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. And I'll tell you what. Both these games, fantastic for vastly different reasons. And they both had me. Like, it's a 50-50 race. Like, I am just torn off, literally down the line. Like, which one to play? Oh, my. Oh, God. It hurts me to decide. I mean, because in, in one... Just humor and fun and just ridiculousness. And then the other, oh, I'm learning about Zack. I'm learning about freaking Angel and Sephiroth and, and soldiers, like just actual what they're about and what they do and the core of them. You get to get a deeper dive into the Turks, you know, and how they operate and what they're up to. You get to feel for just in general the other side. And not after, not post when they're already like bad guys. You know, obviously we know they are overall bad guys. 
But this is when they're just doing their jobs. You know, they're, they're just handling their business. And it's not like they're just corrupt and evil and crazy. Even Sephiroth, at, at this point in the time of the game, he's not insane. He's not crazy. He's weird. He's aloof. But he, he, he talks. He interacts with you. He's doing stuff. And it's, to me, it's just fascinating. Having been just in love with FF7 since its inception, you know, long ago. I'm like, oh my god, I get to actually have a conversation with Sephiroth. I'm going on missions with Sephiroth. He's teaching me stuff. This is bananas. He's actually having a normal conversation instead of just, I'll burn the world down, mother. <laughs> you know, nope, just a dude who's actually really good at his job and knows a lot about what the hell's going on in the you know whole Midgar operations and everything else. So, fantastic game. I I, I just. Right now I'm in heaven right now with these two games. And then, as we joked earlier, I got another game, Callisto Protocol, just sitting there waiting. Just another game of heaviness. <laughs> and how, and just, oh, hey, I'm just still here. So I'm just swimming right now in some of my favorite types of games. And I'm just like, wow, this is a great world I live in. So, and the game in front, just fantastic. And then the only other thing I did this week was I went and saw Avatar, um, Water of Madness, or... Water in the Waterlands. The Way of Water? Is that what it is? Way of Water. That's it. The Way of Water or whatever. And I'll tell you this. You got to see it. The experience, phenomenal. I saw it IMAX 3D. So all the shebangs. I didn't do the 4D stuff, but we don't have that here where we live. But I did what I could. And just a gorgeous, gorgeous movie. And he, Cameron just takes you on all sorts of experiences. And you're going to see... All these different beautiful biomes and environments and creatures, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Just for that, you do need to go see this movie and see it in all of its richness. Story, not impressive, not for me. Real just meh, serviceable, I'll give you that. But for the experience alone, worth seeing, for sure. So I don't care if you care about this movie at all. You just need to go see it for just the visuals, period. Hands down, awesome. So it's been a it's been a pretty cool week, and of course with you know family and stuff hanging out. Uh, what did we do this weekend? I think we visited some friends, family, went over to houses. You know, you know, what typical families do it's cool, fun stuff, but busy too. You know, cleaning this, messing with that, the usuals. Getting prepped for Christmas, Matt. That's right, getting prepped for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, and. I don't know. We usually have like a, a minor Christmas topic, but I got nothing. I'm, I'm panned out right now. I'm just I'm excited to have the time off to enjoy the time off. And well, here's what are you gonna do this Christmas, Matt? What are you gonna do with the time off? What's, what's the big plans? Any big plans? Any big memories you want to make? Well, I don't know about big memories I want to make, but then we do have a little bit of plans on Friday, which is the day off that I took. Uh, we're supposed to go out to the Williamson Theater because they're putting on a Christmas play, which has been getting really good reviews. But I feel like, as always, when it gets to be Christmas time, the time crunch, like the – not that I'm actually that busy, but the, the time compression sets in. and like, oh, we can, ne- we can never make it out there. Oh, this is the one show we can make it to. And it's, apparently there's supposed to be a big storm on Friday, so I'm hoping we can go see that. The next day, going to go to my cousin's house for lunch, having him, his wife, and then his sister over, and then us, uh, mom and I, I mean. And just should be a nice big dinner. I think she's bringing some stuff. They're all, you know, pitching in to do some stuff. It's always good to see them. What do I say when I, whenever I see family? It's always nice to just hang out with some good people, have some good times. It should just be a fun time, and then... Mom and I usually do stuff Christmas Eve, so we'll probably open presents and do stuff then. And Christmas Day, maybe go see Avatar, maybe go see a movie, get some Chinese food. After that, the next day that we actually have off from work, should just be free day. Just sitting playing video games, having a great time. What about you, dude? Well, like you, we're going to go visit some family. We've got an event with uh, Brent and Heather. That we're going to, and that'll be Saturday. So we're going to go hang out with them, exchange gifts for the kids, all that good stuff, do some fun eating, you know, hanging out, Christmas stuff. Then we're going to go to their father and mother's, their, and my wife's aunt and uncle's, for a proper Christmas dinner. And we're going to go over there and hang out with them, give Christmas wishes, exchange gifts with the kids again, all that good stuff, all in that one day. And then beyond that, 
we are going to have a proper Christmas here in the morning. And I still haven't decided whether we're going to do, I talked to you earlier about this, whether we're going to do a traditional dinner or not. I'm thinking no. I want to swing it, switch it up a bit. I'm thinking like maybe an Italian theme and do like, you know, uh, manicotti and lasagna and some pasta and maybe some, um, uh, what do they call the, the breaded chicken with the, you know, oh uh, gosh. Oh, like chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan, something like that. Yeah. Maybe do that, you know, to get some nice, you know, meat protein in there. It's not, 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 not healthy or whatever you want to say. And then after that, I think we've got an event after. Yes, we do. So the day after, we're going to be going over to my, my brother's and we're going to spend a few hours over there, do some light snacks and pizza and stuff like that. And once again, exchange gifts with their friend, their family and stuff and uh, come back home. So I have a pretty busy weekend. It's not like, all day each one but i think like pretty much every day is some family or another we're doing something with so we'll be bouncing around for the three days and then in between that like you i'm hoping to get down here finish high on life finish crisis core because crisis core i don't think is super long so i'm hoping i can get through those two it's not super long if you actually stop doing those missions do every single mission on the board it's gonna take a long time there's so there's so so much good material you can't miss out (laughs) i say that as Uh, somebody who just like 100 percent completed a ton of games this year but you mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying yeah i know what you're talking about so that's the plan that's the hope you know and of course just spending time chilling we'll probably watch a couple classic christmas shows we always do and then we always go into town the night before and we go see the big Christmas tree in the city, and we go uh, looking for lights. We'll usually do that for about an hour while we drink hot cocos from Big B's or something. And, uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's that's the usuals we do. And uh, I, I can't wait to do it, man. I'm looking forward to it. You know, you, you just added a couple things to my list because it's been – I think it's been 10 years since we watched, like, traditional Christmas movies. Like, you know, back when Mom and I still lived at the same house or anything. And then I never go – drive by the big tree because I never go downtown. And then Christmas lights. It's always fun to drive by and see somebody's display. But I'm these days especially, I go to work and I come home and that's it. I almost never see anything. Even mom just told me the other day about some person just down on her, you know, her big main street, just off the road, there's some big Star Wars Christmas display. I'm like, that sounds awesome. I need to go see that. Maybe that's what I need because I feel like I've been a, a little Christmas Grinch the last few years of just – Nah, it's just Christmas. I don't know. I mean, if I, I if I go do these things, it'll actually get mm-hmm. me back in the proper spirit and just, you know, liven up the holidays some more. Yeah, and what's a lot of fun I'll recommend is get yourself a good coffee and then park like in Washington. And you just kind of walk down that stretch towards the big tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because up to it, they got the big bulbs in the intersection. They've mm-hmm. got the wreaths with the lighting all down there and the jingle bells and stuff going and I, I don't know if they do it all the time, but sometimes they have the music playing mm-hmm. and kind of hear like different Christmas songs as you're going. And then, of course, the whole time down, you'll see the tree getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You can just walk up to the tree and just enjoy being by it for a few minutes. And obviously, head on back to the car. Boom. Fantastic Christmas experience right there. That is a good idea. I used to always make a trip down Michigan Ave, just drive it home, you know, and take the mm-hmm. weird back way home to at least see it. But the last few years, I just haven't done it. So, very least, hit that up. Yeah. I was going to say, going to have to do that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe beforehand or maybe just right afterhand and just like kind of let yeah, that Christmas still spirit still just kind of kind of linger on a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do it. Get a little Christmas spirit in there. Get a little tradition back up and running. Do some Home Alone. Home Alone 2. You know, classic Christmas shows. Just go get lost in New York. Home Alone 2. Like, oh, <laughs> how did I get here? Better make this friends with crazy. the homeless lady. Woo-hoo. That's right. She's got the pigeons, man. She'll attack anybody. <laughs> so that's it for us this Christmas season, this holiday season, this winter solstice season, whatever you want to celebrate. What about you out there in podcast listener land? What are your plans for the holidays, whether they be plans you already did because it's Hanukkah, maybe it's Christmas time plans, maybe it's Kwanzaa plans, maybe it's just plans to keep on working. Let us know any of that stuff via the email thirdshiftme at gmail.com on the Twitter machine at thirdshiftme and find us on Facebook under Third Shift. Indeed, you can find us over there. You can also find us on Patreon. Tis the season of giving. Ho, ho, ho. Head on over to Patreon and throw money at your old friends as a little <laughs> tip for Christmas. How about that? Brighten our season, keep the lights on, paying the bills, because you know what? Nobody, those people that want the bill money, they don't care about Christmas. They want the bill money. <laughs> 
So you can help us keep the bill money done so we can enjoy Christmas and not be sad. That would be so awesome. <laughs> We're Tiny Tim and they're Scrooge in this yeah. in this situation. Not I mean before he's seen the ghosts though. I keep mm-hmm. telling the ghosts to go talk to those podcast money people and they never they never seem to see the ghosts. They never do. So maybe either A throw us a tip so we can pay them or you go be the ghost and take care of the people taking our money. Yes. So we don't ever have to give it to them. Just to say, just saying. I'm just saying I don't mean you have to and I I'm violence. I don't condone it but I don't even know the go. The ghosts don't do violence. They just they scare horrify you. you and scare you. They and show you the grave and they go, yeah. ooh. So do something like that. Put the fear of uh, death into them. How about that? <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> but another thing you could do <laughs> to, to treat us for Christmas is listen to the very next episode, which will be dropping on or around the 29th, which will be the third shift game of the year special. I guarantee you're going to want to listen to it. It's my favorite episode of the year. And it's followed by the worst episode, but we're not talking about that yet. But you can find that Third Shift Game of the Year special on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Podbean, on Spotify, and on YouTube. And as I always say, hey, if you like what we're doing, you'd like to help us out, please give us a like, a rating, a review, a comment, a subscription, any kind of good thing on any one of those good services. Because it does help us out, and we really do appreciate it. Indeed we do, and I didn't mention it before, so I'll say it right here as I always do. You can't get us some money. You can't help us out on the Patreon. You can help us for the Christmas season by giving us five-star ratings on iTunes, five-star ratings on Spotify, mailbags. Throw them in there, just like Matt says. Hey, what are you doing for the Christmas slash New Year's season? We want to know. We'd love to hear from all the peoples across the world on what the heck you are all up to. Are you over in Japan? Are you getting that famous KFC family dinner? I want to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? You getting the Christmas cakes? Yeah. I saw an anime. They sell the Christmas cakes. Get yourself a little Christmas cake. I want to see you and hear all about all the different things folks do that we don't do. So hit us up. Get it. Get those mailbag questions. Get those mailbag statements. All that stuff in there. We want to know. But, you know, we'll be here waiting. Just... Hang it out until then. So Merry Christmas, right? Happy New Year's. Well, we'll tell you Happy New Year's next time. That's right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know, Happy Holidays. Whatever you celebrate, we're all about it and enjoy. Whatever you celebrate, happy that to you. And until next time, there's nothing else to say but do jingle 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 No, jingle jingle is not not allowed. I don't know why, but it's not allowed. Don't forget to save. Shut up and sit down.